Barry. Where's the camera? The camera's over there, matey. Dave here, how are you? Today I'm going to do a quick one on adapting 4-inch sewer PVC pipe to standard 4-inch uh, dust extraction systems. Now you'd reckon 4-inch is 4-inch universal, but uh -uh, it, it ain't. It's, it's not. And if you've been down this road, you'll be frustrated big time about it. So how it works is uh, PVC pipe in Australia, manufactured to Australian and New Zealand standards, is too big to put these guys straight onto. You need an adapter. That's if you want to use this stuff to do your main runs around the walls of your workshop. This guy here, which is called an M018. I'll put it in front of the other camera there. M018. And it is available from Carbotech and it fits perfectly inside 4-inch sewer from Australia. Well, that's what I call it. We've always called it 4-inch sewer, 4-inch PVC or 100 PVC. Now, the other end, this fitting is actually designed to fit two flexible hoses together. So you can see where it's going. I can slip that onto there, that onto there, and now, how cool is that? That's brilliant. All right. Now, the other thing is, to save a couple of bucks, you don't have to buy one of these for everything you do. What you do is you can cut it down the center. So just cut it in half. Now you can do that with a hacksaw, a handsaw, or you can do it like I'm going to do it on the, my miter saw. And I'm going to show you how to do that the safe way without cutting yourself. Here we go. I'm going to cut, I just pop it in there, and I'm going to just put a piece of, this is a inch and a quarter by around two inches. I'm going to slide it in to about halfway along. And I'm going to get my hole down and clamp it. Okay, that's got him. It's not going anywhere. I've got my dust extraction system all set up. And I'm making sure all the other gates are shut. So I've got all that done. And now I'm going to cut it. Here we go. Okay, peel it up. Now you'll see there's a little bit of stuff around the edge. Now be careful because that is going to be hot. It, it's still going to be pretty warm. Yep. And get a file. You're right, Barry. Stay there. He likes to hang out up here. Looks like I'm about to cook the Sunday roast. This is a rat tail file that I'm using. They even turn the handle up on that. How's that? I've cut the fitting in half and slide it into the end and it fits really nicely and then I just use a bit of insulation tape or duct tape when I finally get it undone. There we go. There we go. And just pull it at the end and that's it. That's going to hold really well. You can put one of those rubber boots on, or you can even get one of these little thumb clamps. Let's open that up nice and wide. These are, I like these because they're quick. So slide that one over there. Tighten him up. Done. That's not going anywhere. That's a great little way to do it. So there you go, that's a nice quick way of joining two different types of pipes uh, that are different diameters using that one fitting. See you next time.